So for this video, we will focus for 3.2.3 investigate and describe the impact of minimum and late payments for credit card usage. In statement, we have a details. First, credit limit. Second, statement date. Third, latest amount. Fourth, minimum payment amount. And the last one, type of charge. Okay, let's see what is interest free period. It is within 20 days from the statement date. What is minimum payment? Okay, minimum payment is 5% of the total balance in your statement and or a minimum ringgit Malaysia 50. Finance charge. Finance charge will charge you daily rate and the annual interest rate between 15% to 18%. Pay late payment charge. Late payment charge is minimum ringgit Malaysia 10 or 1% of total outstanding balance. So the summary, minimum payment 5% of total balance of credit card or minimum ringgit Malaysia 50 if they are balance of latest open expiry date so finance charge will be charged for you imposed based on daily rate and normally between 15% to 18% if no payment made within interest free period so you will be charged late payment 1% of the total outstanding balance or will be charged of Ringgit Malaysia 10. With the high interest rate, card holders will eventually pay much more to the financial institution when compared to the original price paid for the purchase of the goods or service. To understand why credit card interest can be dangerous, consider how normal monthly interest is calculated using a flat interest rate. Monthly interest equal to annual monthly interest in times principal divided by 12. Let's see example for monthly interest. Azmi owes Ringgit Malaysia 10,000 at an interest rate of 80% per annum. Calculate the monthly interest imposed on Azmi. So 80% 80% times with 10,000 divided by 12 equal to Ringgit Malaysia 150. The credit card finance charge or interest is calculated based on compounding interest. This means that the finance charge or interest for the following months will be calculated based on the original loan plus the interest on the balance of the previous month. The interest charge is the interest on the balance. For example, 
Mutu owes Ringgit Malaysia 10,000, interest rate 18% per annum. So, monthly interest will equal to 1.5%. Calculating the interest, we will find that the monthly interest is around Ringgit Malaysia 163, which is Ringgit Malaysia 13 extra more compared to the charge based on the flat interest rate. As a result of the compounding interest, the real interest rate known as effective interest rate is about 19.7%. For example, 16 on your textbook, page 76. Encik Ahmad received his credit card statement for January 2019 from Bank Sentosa. The statement shows that Encik Ahmad has a current amount or outstanding balance of Ringgit Malaysia 5,200. It is assumed that Inke Ahmad did not use his credit card in February. A. What is the minimum payment to be paid? B. If he only makes a minimum payment for January and the statement date is 15 days from the expiry date of the interest-free period, what is the balance shown in his February statement? What is the minimum payment to be paid? Current amount equal to Ringgit Malaysia 5,200 So 5% of the current amount equal to 5 over 100 times with a ringgit Malaysia 5200 so equal to ringgit Malaysia 260 so this amount actually exceed ringgit Malaysia 50 thus the minimum payment to be paid by Inca Ahmad is ringgit Malaysia 260 For question B, if he only makes a minimum payment for January and the statement date is 15 days from the expiry date of the interest-free period, what is the balance shown in his February statement? So, we need to calculate first, write down the outstanding balance equal to Ringgit Malaysia 5200 minus with a ringgit Malaysia 260 so equal to ringgit Malaysia 4940 period subject to financial charge is 15 days so 15 over 365 for per year interest charge equal to ringgit Malaysia 4940 times with the interest rate 18% times with the period time for 15 days. So the interest will be charged equal to Ringgit Malaysia 36 and 54 cents. So the current amount or outstanding balance in February 
is equal to ringgit Malaysia 4,940 plus ringgit Malaysia 36 and 54 cent so equal to ringgit Malaysia 4,976 and 54 cent For question C, if he missed his payment for January, what is the balance shown in his February statement? So, the outstanding balance equal to Ringgit Malaysia 5,200 the period subject to financial charge is 15 days so that means 15 over 365 for per year and then interest charge equal to Ringgit Malaysia 5,200 Times with extinct percent and multiply with fifteen over three hundred and sixty five days. So the interest will be charged equal to Ringgit Malaysia thirty eight point four seven and the late payment charge. equal to 1% multiply with RM 5200 plus with RM 38 and 47 cents so the late payment charge equal to ringgit Malaysia 52 ringgit and 38 cents so for the current amount that will be shown in his February statement equal to Ringgit Malaysia 5200 plus Ringgit Malaysia 38 and 47 cent plus with Ringgit Malaysia 52 and 38 cent so the total will be Ringgit Malaysia 5,290 ringgit and 85 cents. Example Mira used credit card to make a payment of Ringgit Malaysia 1,500 for a watch. The amount is also the current amount in June statement. She didn't make any repayment for June. Bank A charge a final charge of 18% per annum on the outstanding balance for 35 days and late payment charge of 1% of the outstanding balance or minimum ringgit Malaysia 10. Calculate the final charge and late payment charge that Mira had to pay. Assume that Mira did not use credit card after purchasing the watch. Let's see the solution. So the outstanding balance equal to ringgit Malaysia one thousand and five hundred and the finance charge. Equal to ringgit measure 1500 multiply with the interest 18% times with 35 over 365 per year. So the finding charge 
equal to ring aggregation 25 and 89 cent so for the late payment charge equal to 1% multiply with the principal 1500 plus with the finance charge 25 and 89 cents so equal to having it measure 15 and 26 cents The next example, Ambran Parts, a set of furniture with a cost of Ringgit Malaysia 2000 using credit card in April. He only made a minimum payment of Ringgit Malaysia 100 after he received the April statement. Bank B charged a finance charge of 1.5% per month on his transaction for 14 days. and on the outstanding balance for 18 days late payment charge imposed is minimum ringgit malaysia 10 or 1% of the outstanding balance calculate the current amount in may statement assume that amran did not use credit card before and after purchasing the furniture Let's see the solution for this example. The outstanding balance equal to ringgit Malaysia 2000 minus with ringgit Malaysia 100. So the outstanding balance equal to ringgit Malaysia 1900. The finance charge. equal to ringgit Malaysia 2000 multiply with 1.5% multiply with 14 from 30 plus ringgit Malaysia 1900 multiply with 1.5% multiply with 18 from 30 So the finance charge will be ringgit Malaysia 14 plus ringgit Malaysia 17 and 10 cent. So the total finance charge equal to ringgit Malaysia 31 and 10 cent. There will be no late payment charge. So the late payment charge. equal to zero. The current amount in May statement will be a ringgit Malaysia 1,900 ringgit plus a ringgit Malaysia 31 and 10 cent plus ringgit Malaysia zero for late payment charge. So the current amount will be in May statement. is equal to a ringgit Malaysia 1,931 ringgit and 10 cents.